Disney is getting ready for the holidays. There's a big update on the Walt Disney World Railroad. A new popcorn bucket is coming, and we might have found the scariest piece of Disney merch ever created. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Vlog, and it's that time of the week again where I'm going to tell you about all the Disney Parks news you need and or want to know. We found lots of discounts, a fun activity is returning to Disney Springs, Blizzard Beach is reopening soon, and more. Let's get into it. All right, we've spotted the first holiday decorations in the parks. Animal Kingdom is getting ready for Christmas. We stopped by on October 25th, yep, several days before Halloween, and we noticed that some holiday decorations have been put up in Discovery Island. Right over Discovery Island Trading Company, you'll once again see those gorgeous animal-themed holiday lanterns that we've seen in years past. The lanterns are beautifully decorated and have some really incredible details, and we spotted some lanterns just outside of Island Mercantile as well. Outside of some of the stores, we also saw those gorgeous bird sculptures, which again, we've seen in the past for the holidays. And like the lanterns, these have varying colors placed within the patterns and the detailing, particularly with what looks like wire work near the legs is gorgeous. And shortly after Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios joined the decoration party. Yep, that's right, the iconic tinsel stars are decking out the light post down Sunset Boulevard. I knew that was gonna happen soon. These are usually the first decorations we see in this park, ahead of the more obvious things like the Christmas tree at Echo Lake and the floating ornaments. It's almost the most wonderful time of the year. And speaking of the holidays, we've got two new holiday shirt designs I want to show you. First, it's a Main Street Christmas and then our new Oh What Fun It Is To Ride design. I also wanted to tell you that we are having a sale on this merchandise through October 31st. Use promo code October10 to get 10% off all of our DFE exclusive merchandise, including water bottles, stickers, pouches, shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, all of that stuff that's gonna be great for holiday gifts, Christmas gifts, and stocking stuffers. And as always, thank you for your support. All right, we've been keeping up with all the Tron construction progress, as well as everything going on with the Walt Disney World Railroad. Disney gave us a big update this week. Disney shared a video on TikTok showing one of the Walt Disney World Railroad conductors actually testing that train. They captioned the video, testing is just beginning for the Walt Disney World Railroad crew. We know that Tron will be opening in spring 2023, and we've seen the new railroad tracks installed below the attraction leading into a tunnel where the Walt Disney World Railroad will travel through. We're not sure whether Disney may choose to reopen the railroad before or after Tron opened, so we are keeping an eye on this. All right, everybody, we finally got farts dates. Yep, next year, Epcot International Festival of the Arts will take place from January 13th through February 20th, 2023. This festival is a celebration of culinary, visual, and performing arts and usually has some of the prettiest food of any of the festivals. We don't know much about the festival yet, but we do know that there will be 16 food studios, aka food booths, available, and two of those are gonna be new food booths, Modern and Figment's Inspiration Station at the Odyssey Art, Food, and Little Sparks of Magic. The festival focuses on art, so there will be over 100 Disney and visiting artists showcasing their artwork. Guests can participate in things like drawing a Disney character at Animation Academy or helping out with the giant paint-by-number mural. Figment's brush with the Master Scavenger Hunt is also making a return. And the Disney on Broadway concert series is coming back, too. This features talented performers singing Disney songs at the America Gardens Theater in the American Adventure Pavilion. Disney says a list of who will be performing is coming soon. Okay, extended evening hours are here to stay. Guests at Disney Deluxe Resorts can take advantage of extended evening hours, which allows them to stay late at certain parks on certain days. The extended evening hours perk was introduced in late 2021 as one of the replacements for extra magic hours, which ended in 2020. According to Disney's webpage for extended evening hours, this benefit will continue through all of 2023 at least. The extra hours are usually available on Monday and Wednesday nights, and they're most often held at Magic Kingdom and Epcot, although we've seen them happen at Hollywood studios on occasion as well. Check out the full schedule and learn more about this benefit on our website at DisneyFoodBlog.com. 
Blizzard Beach will be reopening on November 13th, 2022, so we'll be able to hit the slopes at this water park again soon. And there will be some new things at the park. The kids' area has gotten a frozen makeover. Anna and Elsa's igloo castle is now in the area, and Olaf and his snowgy pals are hanging out in the warm waiting pool. There will also be some new frozen food offerings, as well as some new beverages for the adults to sip. The new orange slope Dole Whip Swirl will be at Warming Hut, and the new red slope Bloody Mary will be at Frostbite Freddy's. You can also find the Melt Away Margarita at Polar Pub. There will also be a brand new Cajun Shrimp and Grits, as well as a Watermelon Passion Lemonade from Lotta Wada Lodge. And then there will be some fun happening for the holidays at Blizzard Beach 2. Limited time holiday offerings will run through December 31st and include holiday treats, daily snowfall, holiday music, and festive inner tubes. And guests will even be able to meet a tropical dressed Santa Claus. Some of the treats include an Orange Bird Dole Whip cone and a peppermint milkshake. We've got some new Disney World discounts for you. If you're planning a trip for early next year and searching for a discount, and if you have a Disney Visa card, you can save up to 25% on Disney hotel stays in early 2023. This offer is valid for select Disney World Resort hotels for stays on certain nights from January 2nd, 2023 through April 30th. You must use your Disney Visa card when booking in order to use that discount. This offer is for most Sunday through Thursday nights from January 2nd, 2023 through February 28th, 2023, and most nights from March 1st through April 30th. Not only that, but Florida residents can save on their Disney World Resort hotel stays in early 2023 as well. On most Sunday through Thursday nights from January 2nd to February 28th, 2023, and on most nights from March 1st to April 30th, 2023, Florida residents can save up to 20% on rooms at some Disney World Resort hotels. There's a minimum stay of one night and a maximum stay of 14 nights. Plus, the offer is limited, so you might want to hurry if this sounds like a deal you can't miss. Proof of Florida residency is required to check in, and the deal excludes three-bedroom villas and the campsites at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort. For more info on these discounts, head to our website. Now, if none of those offers apply to you, don't worry. There's also a general discount going on right now that lets anyone save money on an upcoming Disney World vacation. With this deal, you can save up to $100 per night on an upcoming Disney World trip with a room and ticket package at certain hotels. As an example, Disney specifically notes that you could save $400 on a four-night, four-day Walt Disney Travel Company room and ticket package, but the exact same savings will depend on just how many nights you stay and where you stay. Now, this discount is specific about the dates that are offered and where you can stay, so I've linked our blog post in the description of this video so you can check if this discount lines up with your upcoming trip. For more info on all these discounts, head to our website. In restaurant and snack news, Mr. Toad fans and popcorn bucket collectors, get ready. This is not a drill. Disney's just revealed that a Mr. Toad popcorn bucket will be available in Disney World soon. The bucket features Mr. Toad sitting on his vehicle with the Toady designation on the front. Looks like we could all be in for a wild ride. It appears to be really well detailed, so we cannot wait to see it in person in the daylight. The popcorn bucket will be coming to Disney World on November 1st, 2022. There will be a limit of one mobile order per day for two buckets while supplying last. And to make things even sweeter, those who buy a Mr. Toad popcorn bucket will get access to an exclusive dome cake at Big Top Snacks. This is basically the same Mr. Toad dome cake that they had when the 50th anniversary commenced back in 2021. And the Mr. Toad brought burger is coming back to Friar's Nook as well. Akershus has been added to the Candlelight Processional Dining Package. These dining packages include a holiday meal at an Epcot restaurant that includes an appetizer, an entree, a dessert, or a full buffet where applicable, and a non-alcoholic drink. And it also includes a reserved spot at a Candlelight Processional performance held on the same day. Disney had previously announced the restaurant and pricing information for the dining packages, but now it looks like one more restaurant has joined the list, Akershus Royal Banquet Hall. This Norway Pavilion spot has been closed since the parks reopened in 20. 20, but Disney recently announced that Akrasus would be opening on November 4th, 2022, just in time for the holiday season. The pricing for this package is $79 per adult and $51 per child ages 3 to 9. Have you ever been stuck between wanting classic theme park food and Mexican food? Well, the Golden Oak Outpost in Magic Kingdom can help you with that. The Pecos Pico Tenders are chicken tenders with shredded cheese, lettuce, and pico on top for $11.29. Underneath the chicken tenders, you're also going to get some fries. You may know exactly what we're going to say. Yep. 
These are just normal chicken tenders. The pico, lettuce, and cheese really don't add too much flavor, and it's hard to keep it on the chicken tender, especially if you're eating on the go. We think there is some potential here, it just isn't too practical. And if you're planning to dunk these in massive amounts of ketchup, the toppings will feel out of place. However, this is a very generous portion of chicken with some fries to go with it. So if you're looking for a filling meal on the go during your busy park day and you don't want to deal with mobile order, you don't want to deal with those lines at the counter service locations, this could be a good option. The cake decorating experience is finally returning to Amaret's Patisserie in Disney Springs. If you're unfamiliar with this, this is a special experience that allows you to decorate your own little delicious masterpiece, typically a Mickey dome cake, under the careful supervision of a chef from Amaret's. The experience is set to return in November of 2022, but no exact date has been shared with us yet. The date will be shared in the future so guests can know when they'll be able to book online. We were invited by Disney and Amaretz to a media preview of the return of this experience. If you want a better idea of what it all looks like, head to our website at disneyfoodblog.com for a full review. If you're hoping to visit the parks on Christmas Eve, now is the time to grab those dining reservations. Dining reservations open 60 days ahead of time, and now we're officially 60 days out, and a little under 60 days from Christmas. As we said before, these reservations can fill up fast on major holidays. This is one of the most wonderful and busy times of the year, so you don't want to miss out on the opportunity to eat at your favorite restaurants. Head to Disney World's website or use the My Disney Experience app to make your reservations. Now calling all margarita fans, La Cava del Tequila in Epcot is definitely the place you want to be if you can't get enough of these tequila-based drinks. And for a limited time, their famous Lily Margarita is getting a bone-chilling makeover. For just three days, from October 31st to November 2nd, you can get the Lily Margarita with a whole new look. The Lily is typically made with Casa Dragones Blanco Tequila, Violet Essence Infusion, Rose Petal Liqueur, Cranberry, and Lime Juice. We can't wait to see what rich craft they add to the drink to give those spooky vibes. Disney World has just released a new annual pass holder exclusive popcorn bucket design and you can find it now in the parks for $13. You'll need to confirm your status as a pass holder in order to pick one up. We got ours in Epcot and it's a pretty typical bucket design with just the addition of the pass holder logo on the side. It's a bright yellow with Mickey Mouse peeking up from the bottom. It comes with a lid that hangs from the handle so it's easy to remove when you're ready to chow down on that buttery popcorn. Like other buckets, you can use it to get popcorn refills around the parks. Check out these new bejeweled Minnie Mouse ears. We found them at Island Mercantile in Disney's Animal Kingdom and in Disney Springs. They're also at Discovery Trading Company in Animal Kingdom. They're navy blue with a gold bow in the middle and the navy material is sparkly. Then the ears are also covered in jewels on the front. On the side of the headband, you can see the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary logo. If you want these ears for yourself, you can grab them for $34.99. And we've also spotted them online, but there's a catch. If you purchase these ears online, they're gonna cost an extra five bucks, making them $39.99. Oh my goodness. Disney throwing us curveballs with the cheaper ears online and then the more expensive ears online. Well, we're gonna try to keep up with it. Disney has released some unique headbands over the years, including some themed to villains and other characters like Anger from Inside Out. Often these headbands can be made out of rigid plastic and feature colorful character designs. They're not always the most comfortable, but they can be great for those who love these specific characters. And recently we found some more of these plastic character ears, but these are something else. These ears are themed to James P. Sullivan, Sully of course, and Mike Wazowski from Monsters, Inc. At first glance, the Sully headband might not look all that terrifying, but take a close look at those eyes. The eyes feel pretty realistic, almost too realistic. And if you push down on Sully's horns, his eyebrows move, creating a spooky, angry Sully look. We don't know about you, but these aren't the kind of ears we just leave out on a dresser at night. Something about those eyes staring into your soul and waking up to see them at 2 a.m. just feels a bit unsettling. Now, the Mike Wazowski headband has even more nightmare potential. Mike Wazowski hands will hang from your headband accessory. And well, we're just not sure how to feel about that. But the real nightmares begin when you stare into Mike's eye. Again, it's a little too realistic and his eye even moves around. If you push on his horns, his eye will close. Want to bring one home for yourself? You'll find these headbands at the Emporium in Magic Kingdom. Both were marked as brown for pricing purposes, which a cast member indicated meant they were $30 each. You can now get the lightsaber hilt on Shop Disney. Add an RGB blade to this baby, not included, and it's fully functional with lights and sounds. It comes in a special collector's box, too. You can pre-order the hilt now for $169.99. But you can also embrace your dark side with the Count Dooku lightsaber hilt. This one is also fully functional once you add a blade. And it comes in a collector's case and is $169.99 as well. We expect these two hilts will go fast, so be sure to grab them while you can. All right, we've got new 
new holiday Magic Band Plus designs that have arrived on Shop Disney. First up is the Mickey Mouse Holiday Magic Band Plus, which features an all-over red design, plus peppermint Mickeys and cookies. And on the other side, you'll find Mickey giving you a wink, surrounded by other holiday goodies and images. Grab it for $44.99. And for the Star Wars fan in your life, there's the Star Wars Holiday Magic Band Plus as well. This one features a wintry blue base color with the Star Wars logo in a candy cane striped pattern, plus R2-D2 and C-3PO on the front. The opposite side shows snowflakes and a few adorable little Ewoks celebrating the season. You can pick this band up for $54.99. And that is the news for this week. Be sure to follow us on social media at Disney Food Blog for more. And be sure to sign up for our newsletter if you haven't already. That's the best way to stay caught up on Disney news. And it's completely free. The link to sign up is in the description below. Thanks for listening, everyone. And thanks for watching. As always, this is AJ for Disney Food Blog. And we'll see you real soon.